We are so grateful for the ministry of our acolytes, and today we want to recognize those who have served as acolytes in the church and are now moving on to other forms of service as they continue to grow in the grace and in the love of Jesus Christ. And so I'd like to invite Sonia Rasmussen forward, who is our coordinator for the Acolyte program, and Sonia does an absolutely fabulous job of working with these young people and their families. Yeah, come on up in. And she's going to call their names and they invite them to come forward and to stand before you here on the steps. Good morning. We are going to recognize the acolytes, as Dr. Galloway said, and some of our acolytes could not be here with us this morning because of Mother's Day, but we're going to recognize them as well. So if you'll please come up. Mackenzie Cheek. Grace Donahoe. Alexandra Gooden, Sophia Gruninger, Claudia Harvey, Alexandra, congratulations. Alexandra. Kate Peterson, slow down. Sorry, I'm fast. Sophia, <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Oh, no. Hey, where are you going? Come on up here. <laughs> come on up here and stand up here. See what happens when you have somebody new doing this. No, come on up here, and then we're going to have a prayer together. Nicholas Rasmussen. Congratulations, Nick. There you go. Stand up there. Catherine Sabins. Kelsey Steiner, and Lucy Wynn. Thank you, Kelsey. Hey, Lucy. Congratulations. Did we leave anybody out? We, we did not leave anyone out. And Claudia Harvey, did you call Claudia? I did call Claudia. Oh, okay. Great. I want to say thank you. And then when you began in the program, we talked to you about what it means. You're not just lighting candles. You're bringing the light of Christ into the sanctuary to remind us that Christ is the light of the world and that all the light in our lives comes from God. So you have a very important role, and you've helped us to envision what worship is about. It is about worshiping the light of God that shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So I want to say thank you for your faithfulness. And I want to challenge you to continue to serve God in the church, in your school, in your families, friends, and neighborhoods, so that you may be Christ's light in the world wherever you go. Let's have a prayer together. Dear gracious God, we thank you for these acolytes who've served so faithfully and well over the years. We pray that you'll bless them and continue to let them shine as your light in the world as they bear the good words of Christ to others. We thank you for Sonia, who has coordinated this program and continues to be an inspiration to us all. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Now you can go back.